okay, it's Tuesday. I'm maskless. <laughs> um, but it's time for the update. Um, I'm not looking for sympathy or anything like that. Um, we had a long staff meeting today. Lots of things that we're talking about. Um, it's COVID has been tough. <laughs> it really has been tough because we're trying to figure out, we're trying to pray, we're trying to seek guidance, we're trying to hammer out some details. Um, and it is hard. I have a mint in my mouth right now. Um, but we know that we're not alone. Um, a lot of us are in circles or in conversations with other churches, and we realize that we aren't the only church that's trying to figure out what this new reality is going to look like. Um, talked to uh, a former business administrator at a church a couple churches ago, and he said they're trying to figure out the same thing. So we're all kind of in the same boat, but we feel alone and trying to figure out what what church is going to look like in the next six, nine, 12 months and, and past that. So staff meeting was very plotty and sloggy today. So just continue to remember your staff and your elders as, as we try to figure this out. So just a couple things to bring to your attention. Um, if you notice, there is some work being done behind the scenes here. We, we have a handful of people that are just absolutely fantastic that change up the platform uh, to give us a really unique and meaningful worship experience on Sundays. And I so appreciate those who clear off the platform um, for Darlene and Kathy and others who put so much work into um, making it look great, both in person and if you're watching virtually, you, you see how, how good it looks. But Sunday, uh, we're gonna have a time of celebration and worship. We are, it's kind of our pivot point for our Thrive series this past month in May. We talked about what Thrive looks like in our personal lives, this abundant life. In June, we'll talk about what that looks like as a church. We're going to have some big conversations about New Community Church, but also bigger conversations like, does church still matter? And so we, we hope that you're a part of that. We'll have some after parties to talk about that too. We won't have after party this Sunday because it's Memorial Day weekend. But we want to hear from you about um, what does church mean to you? What is being devoted to the, the work of, of building the kingdom look like? So that's going to be a big part of it. The mask thing, I'm, I don't even have one with me. Um, if you are vaccinated, you do not have to wear a mask. Apparently you are fully protected. That's everything that we're hearing now. If you are not vaccinated, we strongly encourage and request that you do mask up. Um, just for the protection of yourself and of, of everyone here. Um, we will have some people on Sunday morning who are vaccinated but still choose to wear masks um, for their own safety. And so if you are not vaccinated, don't feel like you're going to be singled out because you're wearing a mask. We have some vaccinated people who will be wearing masks too, so we won't know. But we do want to encourage you to get vaccinated. If there's some medical conditions, we understand that. We're very sympathetic, extend a lot of grace. Um, but if, if you can and if you are able, we want to encourage you to do that. Um, one of the biggest conversations in staff meeting, um, and we'll have it going forward, is volunteers. All of the areas of our church, because we're seeing more and more people come back, we just need people to help us. And we know that a lot of you are in seasons of life where it's difficult or you don't know if you have the skill set. Um, and we're not going to throw you in the deep end and ask you to swim. But we need people in the children's area. We need people in the student area. We need tech people. We need praise team. We need ushers. Um, if you have any interest, um, we will pair you with someone who's really good in that area and help you grow some comfort and some skills if you need to in that specific area. But please contact any of the staff, contact the church, and we would like to work you in. This summer, because things are going so well in the children's area, they usually take a break in July. They've chosen this year to just keep going, meeting in the children's area through the summer. So hence the need for volunteers. Um, but also just so you know that some good things are happening and that as we meet through the summer, our children will continue to meet back in the Promised Land area. July 4th, because it falls on a Sunday, will be virtual worship only because we need to give our volunteers some rest. They have been doing this virtually nonstop for over a year with no breaks. Um, but we will be having a picnic. Our elders are putting all that together out down by the pond. We've got picnic tables. We've got benches. You can bring chairs. 
Um, they're taking care of all of that. We just want you to come and hang out and have a great time, kind of like the old school um, Dinner on the Grounds Church Fellowship. That'll be July 4th, and you'll hear more about that. The last thing to bring to your attention, and I think I've said this before, we are recognizing that we're getting a lot more hits on the NCC website, which is interesting. Um, we probably haven't been putting the effort into a website like we have our app and all of our other social media platforms. We just didn't think there was much activity, but Bobby is on top of things, and she has been checking out some of the analytics on our website, and we have seen a significant spike in traffic, which means people are checking us out, people are watching all the things that we're doing, and um, they're interested. And so we want to promise to you, if you have any suggestions, we're more than glad to, to, to consider them, to hear them. Um, we are doing some work on reevaluating our website um, as, an, as an entryway uh, for people to either participate virtually or in person. So we just wanted you to know that because that's what Tuesday updates do to keep you informed. So I have got to get going. I have another meeting and then I have another meeting later this afternoon. Um, we have a lot going on. So um, stay cool. It's hot out there. Um, have a great week. Stay up with everything that's going on on a social platform. And uh, for now, we will see you online. So take care.